Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll talk about access management sections, specifically user groups, users, and roles. And in the next video, we'll be talking about the other uh, sections like policies, identity providers, and account settings. So let's go ahead and start. So these are the sections that uh, we're gonna discuss in this video. So to access this particular console, so you have to go to the services and uh, under security, identity, and compliance, you will find IAM, so click that. So once you are uh, in this particular console, we'll be going to user groups. So we have already discussed about user groups and users, but uh, we'll recap what we have done in the previous videos. So you can click user groups. So already we have two different uh, groups. Let's go ahead and see how we can create that. So create a group and you can give that element name. Let's say sample and uh, you can add the users. So for instance, since we already have a user called Teja, we can add him or else we can create a new user and we can add that uh, into this group later on. And you can give the relevant permissions. So you, to see like what exactly this role uh, provides, you can also uh, see the JSON format, which we also discussed in the previous videos. So you can just click that and uh, you can just create a group. So that is how simple it is to create a group. So let's see how we can create the users. So let's go to the users section. So already we have uh, Teja. So let's go ahead and create a new user. So add users and uh, let's say Ravi. And if you want to provide access to this uh, AWS management console, click that. And you have two different options. So you can go to the recommended one or uh, you can uh, create an IAM user. So in this case, we'll create an IAM user. You can uh, auto generate the password, which we will be seeing uh, once it is created. But in this case, we can select the custom password and add it. So just some random password. And uh, the next one is user must create a new password at the next sign-in. So once uh, you have successfully created this user, for example, if let's say you go and log in, so you'll be prompted uh, to uh, create a new password. So if you select this, that is how it will be showing you or else it will just be the default one. So we already created a user and we have uh, seen like what uh, will be the next steps in the previous videos. So do check that out. So let's uh, go back here. Okay, so we have talked about user groups and users. Let's go ahead and check the role section now. So you can see an IAM role is an identity that you create that uh, specifies uh, permissions with credentials that are valid for short durations. Roles can be assumed by entities that you trust. So let's go ahead and create the roles. Click here. So right now we have uh, five different uh, trusted entity types. Uh, AWS service, AWS account, web identity, uh, SAML 2.0 federation, uh, custom trust policy. So let's talk about the first one, which is AWS service. So creating these roles for AWS service involves defining set of permissions that allows these services to access and interact with other AWS resources. So these roles are designed to grant unnecessary permissions to AWS services without exposing access keys or credentials. So that is what uh, the first one defines. So that is the reason we can see the use case here, which is like services like EC2 and Lambda. So if you want to select any other resources, you can select them as well. And you can go and uh, add permissions that we have done like in the previous videos. So coming to the next one, the AWS account. So creating roles for an AWS account involves defining a set of permissions that can be assumed by different entities within account. So these roles enable users applications or AWS services to access and manage AWS resources based on their uh, specific responsibilities and needs. So either uh, you can create a uh, specific for this account or you can select other account and uh, add that particular account here, right? And you can just go next and uh, you can add uh, the relevant permissions that you want and click next and you can just review and create it. So you can just click some permissions here. So to know more about like what this role uh, uh, gives, so you can just read this JSON format or you can just read the description. So let's go next and give the description, role name, and done. you can create it. You can add the tags if you want, or just leave it as default based on your needs. So once it is done, you can just create it. So this is how you can create it. So let's create a role again. So now let's talk about the web identity. So creating roles for this web identity in AWS involves allowing users to authenticate with web identity providers such as Amazon Cognito, Facebook, Google, or OpenID Connect, and granting them temporary credentials to access these AWS resources. 
So these rules enable users to authenticate through web identity uh, providers to securely interact with AWS services. So when you click here, you can see we have uh, got uh, identity providers like uh, login with Amazon, Amazon Cognito, Facebook, and Google. So based on your needs, you can select identity providers and move further. So coming to the next one, which is SAML 2.0 of federation. So creating roles for this uh, federation in AWS involves integrating your organization identity provider, or in short, we can call it as IDP, use, uh, using the uh, security as, uh, assertion markup language, or in short, we can call it as SAML standard. So this uh, allows user to authenticate with their organization credentials and obtain temporary credentials for accessing AWS resources based on uh, defined roles and permissions. So that is what uh, the fourth uh, trusted uh, entity type uh, provides. So based on your needs, you can select it. And uh, coming to the next one, which is roles using the custom trust policies. So creating roles for these custom trust policies in AWS involves defining a specific trust relationship for roles allowing uh, entities outside the AWS to assume that role. So the custom trust policy expands the flexibility of role-based access control, or in short, we can call it as RBAC, by enabling a trust relationship with external entity providers or systems. So that is uh, what these five different uh, trusted types provides. So, so that's it for now. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about the other uh, three sections, like policies, identity providers, account settings. So coming to this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's uh, video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks, everyone.